<laughs> hey! Oh, Jesus Christ. Wow. Truly, it is morning. <laughs> uh. yeah, I didn't even know that I was going to do that. That's It's episode what? 95? 94. You're always off by one. <laughs> always off by one. I got you now. Yeah. Oh, that's great. 94. 94 of Alex and Jim. We analyze Billy Joel lyrics. You always get that part right. Great job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's been 95 episodes. I think I'd remember. It's been 94. Did you, uh, you did you start the day with a lot of coffee? So I actually have a little, yes, I did. Okay. But I have a story for that too, really quick. Um, I'm going to hide the logo so that our producer doesn't have to yell at us. Okay. I got a beverage from a place. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And uh, you'll see it's a very big beverage. And I saw them making it. I'm, you tell me if this has ever happened to you. I watched them making it. And I was like, well, that's not what I ordered. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, as yeah. I'm, but as I'm watching it, I go, well, that looks pretty good. <laughs> I'll, yeah. just, I'll just take that. So yeah. I didn't say nothing. I didn't correct anybody. I didn't say, oh, and I didn't do the thing where I'm pretending to be a good guy, where I'm like, you know what? This is the wrong thing, but I'll take it. Because because you're not a good guy if you say that. No. You're just, a bad person, but yeah, you're, you're not. They're being generous. You're a lesser nuisance. In Fair this enough. case, I just took my little beverage from them and I was like, that was the right thing to do. I made the right choice. Now, do you know what the beverage is that you got? Well, I know enough. So I know that they didn't put a nut milk in it. Okay. Because then I wouldn't have taken it because I'm allergic to nut milks. And uh, it looked like some kind of a cold brew. Okay. Which isn't even close. That's the cool part. <laughs> uh, you, ordered a, you ordered a piece of a lemon cake. <laughs> right. <laughs> First of all, I ordered a hot beverage. This is an iced beverage. Oh, yeah. Very wrong. And... Uh, objectively said coffee um so i guess it's right in the sense that there's coffee within it sure all right but there's no sugar in this drink and the drink i ordered had sugar in it and i was like oh, maybe they can just see the diabetes <laughs> <laughs> and they're like no you don't need that sir for you buddy yeah wouldn't that be nice <laughs> Uh, but, uh, yeah, but I took the beverage and I'm very happy with my choice. And I like the people at this place anyway. So fantastic. There's like right. three or four baristas there that that's boy or girl for barista, right? That's a gender neutral term. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a genderless term. I don't I just want to make sure. Okay, so yeah, okay. Uh three or four baristas there who are always very kind and Walter, who's right here. Always sure. looks at them. Um, and that's half the reason I go is because what will happen as we go through the drive through he barks like crazy and then poops. <laughs> wow. Yeah. It's Strong hard. reaction. We have a good system. He goes there, barks, poops. I go there, have a coffee, poop. There awesome. we go. Yeah. Everybody's that's, here. That's their promise. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. why is that not the logo <laughs> <laughs> you will poop now you we skipped um like we a while. Like three weeks or something yeah it's been a little while since we've done this now you were out with uh the novel coronavirus the novel coronavirus not the novel one. second uh, time yeah the, the very banal Everyday coronavirus, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Extremely popular. Yeah. All the doing it. Um, it's sweeping the nation. Literally. Yeah. Uh, it was my second time around, and this time was uh, a weird one. It just was a headache for five days that would not go away. Yeah. Regardless of drugs. Uh, and severe lethargy, of course. And then just no other symptoms, no coughing or congestion, 
no cold symptoms really yeah only the first day had like the sniffles a little bit and i immediately tested because we <laughs> sue went to ohio one time to see her father and out there they have an amish salvage store these places they just like buy up stuff for nothing and sell it for next to nothing and for whatever reason they had a barrel by the front door with covid tests for like 39 cents each oh wow and you know here in new york you, you get two for 20 dollars, and so she bought like a hundred of them <laughs> brought them back here so anytime i experience anything i'm like fucking test why not yeah wow she, she had been sick for a week before that didn't test once because she's a pioneer lady <laughs> So it's like, well, if it kills me, it kills me, whatever it is. And as soon as I get anything, I'm like, test me, x-ray me, whatever. Uh, so yeah, so I came up positive five days in a row. I worked from home. So fun. Yeah. Writing jokes with a screaming headache is great. <laughs> yeah. then, then you don't get to be there when they're told. That's also great. Uh, magic. So you're not, so you're, first of all, you're not in a comedy mood. Not in a comedy mood, just mad. Yeah. A lot of jokes that are like, oh, that's just a mean thing to say. It's not really a joke. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so it's a little sloppy. But I'm back and better than ever. I'm as good as I'm 68%. As ever. <laughs> ever. I have a C minus as ever. Yeah. I'll tell you. you we're out for other reasons that I still don't know about. Um, yeah. Well, I'll tell you, first I'll tell our, our people who watch and listen to the show that uh, Alex very kindly was going to try to do the show with me. And uh, each and every time I was like, well, how about we don't? Because I was like, it doesn't sound like you'd have fun. And yeah, you know, this, this show doesn't need to be that. That's a different show. Yeah. I could have done this with COVID, but who? none of us needs that. Yeah. Why, hey, I'm not Jimmy Fallon. I'm not gonna. No, I'm sure Jimmy Fallon's nice. I'm sure he's nice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not James, uh, James Corden, who it's now everyone can dump on. <laughs> he doesn't oh, have a yeah. show. On. <laughs> the truth can be told. Yeah. Uh, I'm not eh, whoever. Um, so here's what happened to me. I got a meal. Uh, hey, if who doesn't like a meal? Oh, that's the way to end the day. Right? So yeah. I got uh, chicken marsala, uh, which is chicken and potatoes is what it is. Uh, right. Mushroom sauce and potatoes. I took one bite. Wow. One bite of this food and it got stuck somewhere. Oh. Yeah. And it hurt. And so I, tr well, I did a thing that I have gotten in the habit of doing, which it turns out is not a good thing. And I've been doing it for years, which is when that happens, I'll get a big old thing of water and work on washing it all the way down. Yeah. And uh, that did not happen. And what happened was, is the water hit bottom really fast. As if I was a plastic doll and you were pretending to give me water. Right. You know? And there's just this little gap here. And of course, the water would just come back out. Right. I thought, well, that's not good. So then I tried to make the chicken go out the other direction. Sure. The way it and, came. Yep. And it did not want to. Cool. But. Did you breathe during this? Yeah. Yeah. But okay. here's well, the thing. Bus. Here's the thing about me. <laughs> if I get a little bit sick, I'll handle that. Like, I'll do the medicine that I'm supposed to do. I will do whatever I'm supposed to do when I get a little bit sick. Yeah. If there's a hardcore emergency, I tend to decide it's not a big deal. It's uh, a psychological thing that I have to catch in myself because it happens every fucking time. Wow. If something real is going on, I tend to be like, well, you know, maybe I need to take a bath or all, something like that. Sure. So I said to myself, and I think this is semi reasonably logical, but not so much really, as I said to myself, well, I'm not choking. I can breathe. <laughs> right. 
So this can't be that big of a deal, and this will probably clear on its own. So I sat there for the rest of my lunch, trying to get it to go down or up, just down or up, and oh. it wasn't going either direction. And I would have a piece of, uh, a little bit of water, and every single time I'd go, <laughs> and the water would come back up. Jesus Christ. Yeah, and it would only be the water. It would just be, and it wouldn't be additional things. Yeah, yeah. so. Because I was also hoping, well, this water thing is unpleasant, but hopefully it'll dislodge whatever. Yeah. And it was super irritated, but I was like, I'm probably fine. So I went to bed. Oh. And I, I slept upright, which is good. But throughout the entire night, I would have to, I'd wake up and I'd have to spit into a glass because my Stomach was creating foam because it was trying to get rid of this thing. Yeah. So the next day, I decided to go to work. <laughs> okay. And I'm driving to work, and my wife calls me on the phone. She's like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Go to the doctor. And I said, well, and I didn't say well. I said, well, <laughs> you know, if it's still a problem after lunch, I'll go to the emergency room. And she said, and she was very smart. She worked, she found a work around my problem, my psychological problem. She said, go to the emergency room now. They'll just send you home anyway. Uh, and okay. you can get to work without being too late. You know, a job that, first of all, I'm not necessary for that day. And there's no... It's nothing bad's gonna happen if I don't go. So I'm like, fine. So I went to the emergency room and I said, I think I have an obstruction. And you know what I've said about the emergency room is you know how it's always a long wait? Yeah. It's, it's better if it's a long wait. Because if you go up there fast, if they cut you, if they cut you in line, oh shit, something's wrong. Oh yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> yeah. And that's the thing. And I've never been to the emergency room and had to wait. No, I've never had to wait. Because <laughs> you've always, you've done all your waiting beforehand. Oh, yeah. And everybody's like, no, this is an emergency. So they, and I still don't think it's a big deal. They give me this pill that might help. It doesn't. Uh, it's a pill designed to relax your muscles that, and if it does, maybe it'll go down or up or whatever. It doesn't. Wow. So I still think it's probably not a big deal until a gentleman comes in the room <laughs> and he goes, hi, my name is so-and-so. I'm going to be your anesthesiologist. <laughs> and this nobody's told me anything. Of and course. then another guy introduces himself and he goes, I'm the surgeon. Wow. Well, okay. Cool. Well, there, there's two of you guys. I think this is maybe a bigger deal. And they go, I need you to sign this. Here's what could go wrong. And here's, you know, the risk is that you'll perforate your uh, larynx and you'll bleed into your lungs and you'll drown. Sure. Okay. <laughs> it was a legitimate concern. Wow. Um, so they were like, okay, we're going to give you some oxygen. And then that's the last thing I remember, of course. And then I wake up all groggy. But I can tell whatever was in there is now gone. Right. And they tell they say two things to my wife. They go, he fucking waited 12 hours. What's wrong with him? And she said, no, it wasn't 12. It was about 24. <laughs> and then the other thing they said is, also, does he chew at all? <laughs> does he chew at all? Because apparently there's this, this <laughs> A triangle of chicken? Just a perfect hunk of chicken, yeah. <laughs> and where it had lodged, it was not going to go up or down because it hit the perfect spot, the sweet spot, as they say. Uh -huh. And it was right at the flap where you're either going to go to lungs or food. So lungs oh, okay. or stomach. So right. it was in a very dangerous place. And apparently I really could have died. Wow. And I could have bled into my stomach and all this stuff. Good Lord. And then it turns out I have a condition, which is, you know, I, hey, listen, we know I have conditions. This oh, yeah. Is very new. yeah. Very conditional. Yeah. Most of them are up here, though. Right. This, 
the condition I have is my larynx uh, is narrower than a normal person's. Okay. Which is why I've always had this duck eating thing where I will drink water to pour stuff down. <laughs> but then why didn't I get in the habit of chewing? <laughs> right. That seems like a good so, uh, workman's solution. Yep. Uh, so sometime in January, we're going to have a procedure. And it's like an angioplasty, except it's not your heart, in that they're going to take a balloon and oh. put it down there in the throat area and expand it to make oh. the gap wider so that it's more like a person eating. Wow. I think this is a good time to restate the name of this podcast. Right. Alex and Jim are broken. Are broken and old. Yeah. Alex and Jim analyze Billy Joel lyrics. Um, yeah, no, I'm not trying to <laughs> sidetrack you. Um, so were did they cut you or did they just go down your throat with something and roto rooter you? Yeah, and I was nervous when they said surgeon that they were gonna cut me too, but they went down and grabbed it and took it, which so I guess what they were doing in the beginning when they were giving me oxygen is the idea was they had to heavily oxygenate my blood oh, because there was going to be some moments when there was going to be a dude going down there getting oh. the thing. And during <laughs> that time, I wouldn't be getting any air, I guess. Wow. Okay. Or, you know, that's me surmising because the thing happened so quickly. They're like, here's your anesthesiologist. Also, good night. <laughs> <laughs> wow wow yeah amazing right and then this is the fast this is a fast story but i think that's good here i got the most amazing customer service at 7-eleven yesterday at 7-eleven okay i went into 7-eleven to get dinner because again there's a lot of food yeah <laughs> yeah so i got my thing the guy rang it up i go how's it going man and he's on the phone. He's clearly on the phone. And, go, yeah. and he's just chatting away with his friend on the phone. And I go, are we ready? He just keeps chatting away. So I should pay now. Just talking, talking, talking. Uh, I'm about to put my card in. I realize, oh, he's walked away. <laughs> There's no interest in even pretending. I paid my oh. bill. I could hear it go. Click, click. So I knew I had paid. And I was like, have a good night, man. <laughs> Jesus. I I couldn't understand him because he was speaking in Urdu. Uh, <laughs> although I recognize the language because I have some friends who speak Urdu. I recognize the, the sound, but I don't know what he was saying. But I imagine that the person on the other end has said, what's work like? And he said something to the effect of, I haven't had a customer all night. That's what I think he's yeah, saying. Nobody here. <laughs> yeah, just me. Uh, for some reason, there's a burrito and a tea on the counter, but. <laughs> that's, that's a little inventory later. Yeah. Problem right now. Dude never said a word to me. So weird. Wild. We, um, customer service is usually great around 30 Rock where I work. There's, you know, a giant food court downstairs where you, you go get your lunch and all that. But this month is always bad because they put up a giant Christmas tree right outside our building. Ah. Uh. And one million people every day come and look at the fucking thing. <laughs> and it makes them hungry, I guess, to see this tree. So they come into our food court and they clog up the works. Oh. And, you know, customer service, you, you've worked customer service in restaurants. They always put just enough people on staff to get it done at like an average time. They're like, all right, we're going to, on an average day, we have this many customers. We'll get four idiots and one relatively smart person. And that'll be the shift. Yeah, three times as many people, and then the dumb people get dumber. Um, so this month I'm like not eating lunch. <laughs> it's my solution. Oh, 
found a stash of granola bars in the office. I'm like, I'm just staying out of there. I'm trying to do mental health things, man. Yeah. And uh, it's not working, but. Do you remember Letterman when he would cover the lighting of the uh, Christmas tree? Don't really. It was so great and dumb. This is the old show. This is before he went to CBS. This is the yeah. NBC show. Because at CBS, he did a different thing, which is he had a tree in the studio. And then they would put a, instead of a star, they would put a pizza on top of it. Oh, yes. <laughs> which is great. It's dying for the traditional putting of the pizza. And they just drop a pizza on it. It's so great. So dumb. But um, he used to do this thing where they'd be go to the Rockefeller Center and Larry Ben Melman or whatever, and okay. it would just be the tiniest little tree in the studio with a super close up that was a clearly a fake tree, and it'd, <laughs> it'd go click, and the lights come on, <laughs> and then it would be a little like the next year they'd go click, and then it would start to burn and go oh no the tree's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> That was his bit every year. Oh, great. And I bet half the reason was they were, I bet at a meeting, they were like, we should cover the lighting of the tree. And somebody smart like you went, God, that's going to be a pain in the ass because right. there's just every month. Mor- yeah, it's just going to be every moron. And, and not only is it all these tourists and whatever, it's every dumb news group, every dumb every dumb daytime show morning show yeah. it's going to be absolute hell good luck even finding like an electrical outlet yeah <laughs> <laughs> um you picked house of blue light house of blue light it's a door song right i don't know who did it first no no i i mean it's not a cover he wrote it but it sounds like a door song, right? It a little. Oh, are you frozen or me? Well, one of us is frozen, so we'll just wait a second. Am I moving? <laughs> well, everybody, Alex edits a handsome pose at least. So when if you if you're watching this video, uh, Alex is in a handsome pose, but he is abjectly posed. Let's see if there's anything I can do. Stop video. 